7, iPhone SE, iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone 8, 8 Plus or even iPhone X. Do not update to iOS 14 right away. There is a bold claim I just want to do right away in this video that's about the battery drain. I have been seeing on my devices from iPhone 7 to iPhone 8 like it's draining so much battery on the iPhone 8 and not the battery drain it's about the heating issue. It's heating so much. Uh, especially I have seen the same things on the iPhone X even my friend is using the iPhone X and the heating issue is obviously there so in this video we're gonna talk about why this battery drain and the heating issue is happening and what you should do right now uh, the bold thing is I will say don't update to iOS 14 right away wait for the final release and I will say that wait at least for one or two months even after the final release because iOS 14 is a pretty big update even if you think it's not massive it's not huge there is a very subtle update but it is actually very big update there is a lot of things in the softwares like it's everything is behind you cannot see all of the things you may think that there is not a lot of things but yeah there is a lot of things you may feel that updates are very sudden there is a little home app gallery things there is new app library there is new ui like siri phone calls or even the widgets those are very subtle but actually it's not like that there is a very big software going on behind all of those things and that is the reason the device is getting very warm so the main reason i found behind the heating issue is the widgets like the widgets are pulling data from the internet or even from somewhere every single time that means your device's processor is working each and every moment thus the heating issue is happening because it's working constantly every single time uh, the weather is getting updated calendar is getting updated they are just refreshing their pages even the photos browser or the call outs you can say you may think that it's very subtle but all of those things are pulling data it's processing all of those data and it's making the device much much warmer than before especially i have seen the heating issue much on the iphone 7 and also the 6s the iphone x i i personally use the iphone x like that heats a little less than all of those devices but it also heats like it's much than the ios 13.5 point one maybe that is the final version i think but the ios 14 is is very stable i know that it's very stable features are very cool and amazing but the heating issue and the battery drain issue is happening and that is the only reason i'm not going to update to ios 14 uh, like i'm i have already updated like i will tell you guys not to update right now wait for the final release even after the final release it may have some issues so wait for another two or three months after the final release and that will be a good point to update the device it's not in a good positions on my iphone 7 it's just making the device very warm like it's getting very warm the iphone 8 also getting very warm especially those glass bags are getting Getting very very warm battery is draining automatically if you don't believe me see other youtubers videos like those youtubers are using massive iPhones like iPhone 11 11 Pro Max iPhone XS XS Max or the iPhone 10 R or even the iPhone 11 those devices has no issues even I have seen I've talked to some people who have those devices like they don't have any issues but all of those people who have the iPhone 6s 7 7 plus 8 plus or the iPhone X are having very big issue with the iPhone uh, iOS 14 or the iPhone iPhone OS I was thinking about the iPhone OS but it's iOS 14 so don't update to iOS 14 right now wait for the final release and then update to iOS 14 I know that the public betas are available you guys are interested to see all of the new features available on the iOS 14 you guys want to experience the widgets on the page you guys want to experience the app library the app gallery anything you can say but my friends wait for the final release like the day you install you'll feel that it's not working well like it's smooth it's fast there is no issues in compared to ios 13 and ios 14 is pretty good like they both are equal equal there is no such like features are less device is getting slow nothing like that but the warm heating issue the battery day issue will happen the next thing i found is the siri update and the call like those things are also very sudden like the siri when you call hey siri then it becomes a very short okay hey siri stop it so, i'm here you are not here so when you are saying hey siri, like it's very subtle but it's also pulling data from internet in the backgrounds and that is the also reason the device is getting much warmer than before like before it was packing the full screen and it was just taking one application at a time but right now it is not packing the full screen and it is also pulling the data from the background like background applications are also going to use the 
data the siri is also going to use the data and that means the device is going to get much warmer than before and the next one is the phone call not like this too there are many more examples to say but here i haven't found all of them and also the back tap button on the latest devices those are also using data from the phone and that is also the reason the processor is working every single time and that is the reason why your device's battery is getting drained faster and also the performance performance is same but the device is getting warmer have you understand i think you have understand properly and the final suggestion from me is not to install the ios 14 right now we have the widget sections on the android devices from ages it's about the android kitkat maybe and the widgets on the iphones just came right now those are very new on the iphones give it some time for the updates and at the final release hopefully it will be very nice fine amazing like the ios 13.5.1 and that was it guys i hope you guys got the idea why your device is getting warmer on the ios 14 i got so many messages on the instagram regarding the ios 14 their old devices are getting warmer i know that every single people doesn't have the iphone 11 11 pro max or even the iphone xr or even the iphone xs max people are also using the 7 8 like me so those people are having issue with the ios 14 and they also want to use and get the experience of the ios 14 but it's not possible to get the ios 14 experience on the old device and get the super hyper performance like the new device so don't install the ios 14 right now.